Uh, hi guys, Ruth here. Back at it with another printer upgrade. Uh, so this is, a, this is how the printer looks currently. Uh, the bed is that low. Uh, this uh, Z axis moves freely. So uh, I've come up with a, an upgrade for it. Um, I'm using two forms of mechanisms so the servo motor will be mounted uh, roughly here uh, uh, I'll look for a better location to, to mount the servo motors so this, this is a mechanism so this axis, this axis will remain constant. This axis is this axis along this rail. And then uh, now for the Z axis, I'm, I'll use a servo motor. Uh, I'll place it here or somewhere here just to balance it. And then use uh, the same rod, this rod. The main reason why I've upgraded, I'm trying to upgrade these axes is because as I print and I want to use only one axis, this part remains in the print a bit. So I can't print roughly past this point, maximum of this point. So, um, yeah, because three motors is better. I'll use less energy. I can save up for speed on or heat. So uh, for the Z, it will be moving along here. So if the motor is placed here, it will be pulling this, and then it will be pulling this, causing it to rise, to rise up. So it will rise up. up to a height you want and then the good part about it is the length move from here see from the total maximum height move see, it's from here to it's roughly this from here up to here it's not a, a big i can move a, a long distance along the y just by rotating the servo slightly slow so it's slightly faster uh, if I can upgrade it for all the axes, it will be good, but it's taking a lot of space along this axis. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, please do share, like, and subscribe. Thank you.